Okay, what happens to your 401k when you relinquish your U.S. citizenship? If you're American living abroad who's considering renouncing your U.S. citizenship, you'll likely have wondered, you know, what happens to the 401k when you renounce that citizenship. Now, part of the answer on this is going to depend on, uh, you know, where you, you're going to be a, a citizen and a resident. If you're going to be a, a resident or citizen of a country that has a tax treaty with the U.S., uh, then you should look at that specific tax treaty to see how the foreign 401k would be treated locally. Also, if you're making at least 150,000 U.S. dollars a year and or you got a net worth of at least 1 million U.S., and you want to learn how to legally get your income taxes to zero, how to get a second passport as quick as 45 days, do three things. Hit the subscribe button the right of your screen right here, and you get new videos automatically as they come out. And don't forget to hit that notification bell next to that subscribe button. And number two is I would like to hear from you. If you got a question or comment, just put it below. And number three is go to our website, www.citizenshipquickly.com, and ask for some help. All right, now the tax treaty will actually uh, say whether you'll be taxed either in your resident country or in the United States. Uh, you have to look back and forth to see which one you know, you're going to be taxed in. And also, you know, does your 401k savings qualify you as a covered expat? Uh, the next thing you need to know is, uh, uh, is uh, on that expatriation form, the 8854 form, uh, you must check the box 7A, uh, which is, you know, do you have any eligible deferred compensation items? Uh, a, a 401k would fall under this category. If you do have this, uh, and if you have a sizable 401k plan, you may be considered a covered expat. To be a covered expat, you must meet one of the following requirements. Number one is your tax, tax uh, your net tax liability is over 171,000 for the past five years. Number two is you got a net worth exceeding $2 million. And number three is you fail to meet your filing requirements for the five preceding tax years. Any of these three will actually trigger that uh, covered expat um, trigger there. Now, if you're, uh, uh, if you're a covered expat, you'll, uh, you'll be treated differently when you renounce your citizenship. For one thing, you'll be required to pay the exit tax. Based on this, covered expats will pay a 30% tax on retirement income when distributions are made. Uh, you know, the question is, it, uh, is your 401k protected by a tax treaty? Uh, if the country in which you become a resident has a tax treaty, you'll want to research the specific treaty to see how a 401k investment would be treated locally. In general, you could expect the treaty to say you'll be taxed either in your resident country or in the United States. You'll also need to do some research to determine in which country uh, you'll actually pay tax as an expat. Uh, now, let's look at reporting your 401k on the Form 8854 form. All right, now, this is the expatriation form you'll be required to file uh, or actually fill out when you relinquish. If you have a, uh, a U.S. 401k, uh, you must check the box 7A, which states, uh, do you have any eligible deferred compensation items as a 401k would fall under this category? If you check box 7A, and you've got a sizable 401k plan, you might be uh, considered a covered expat. This means your net uh, tax for expat's liability is over 171000 for the past five years, or you've got a net tax exceeding $2 million U.S. Now, covered expats may be required to pay an exit tax, and you'll have uh, one of two uh, tax options uh, regarding deferred compensation plans. Uh, you can elect to have, the, to, to be, uh, have a received a full payout, on the day before you renounce uh, and are taxed according on your U.S. tax return, or you can elect to forego tax treaty benefits on these items and your retirement income will be taxed at a flat 30% tax rate when di distributed. All right, now the bottom line for 401k plans uh, when renouncing your citizenship is going to be this. Uh, if you consider renouncing your U.S. citizenship, the main concern is to check whether or not it's going to cause you to be considered a covered expat. If you did qualify, this is, uh, uh, you know, uh, in other words, this is where you're going to get hit with the taxes. You also uh, have to look at uh, how your 401k is going to be treated locally to see if you're going to be uh, taxed in the U.S. As well, in your, as well as in your host country. Anyway, if you're looking, uh, if you're making at least 150000 U.S. dollars a year and or you got a net worth of at least $1 million U.S. and you want to legally get your income taxes to zero, or how to get a second passport as quick as 45 days, do three things. 
hit the subscribe button to the right of your screen right here and you'll get new videos as they come out automatically. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. Also, I'd like to hear from you. If you've got a question or comment, just put it below and I'll get back with you. And number three is go to our website, www.citizenshipquickly.com and hit that top bar of any page where it says apply with us, fill out the questions, and then hit that bar on the bottom that says uh, send it to us and we'll get back with you. We deal with a lot of citizenship by investment and residency by investment countries all the world that I think you'd be interested to learn about. And I look forward to talking to you on the next video. Take care.